Yo, welcome back to the unit guys. Uh, back here with the welder, it's gonna stick loads of amps through different cables. Today we're gonna to find out the difference between we're gonna find out the difference between uh, metal clips and plastic clips and why the regulations have changed with the last uh, regulation change. Uh, what it's for, why it's there, the different reasons, uh, put it into practice so you guys can visually see why we're doing this uh, rather than we just get taught in a book and just told to do it really. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. So what I'm gonna do now, the actual, the regulations themselves changed uh, with the last regs change to fitting metal clips in a lot more places, more than just emergency exits. And we do this quite regularly, Adam and I, with Adam and I, with uh, anywhere we can under a joist where we can get a metal clip in. It just helps. I know we've got plasterboard in there, which has a fire rating of like 30 minutes anyway. But just for that bit of extra protection, we always chuck a fire clip in as and where we can. Only anything surface clipped. Also, you've got the D-clips that go inside of trunking now and the metal conduit uh, saddles. We use them all the time now. And obviously on your armor cables as well. Outside on the properties, we just do it anyway. We don't really stock any plastic stuff anymore, but I've set a rig up now, which you've already kind of seen from the last video because the cables dropped even with plastic clips in, turned the correct way so the nail was below to support the weight. It didn't matter. But realistically in this situation as well, I'm, I'm, at some point I'm gonna flip the board on its roof. So I'll run you over there and we can see what's going on. So what we have set up here, we have three plastic normal twin clips and three metal twin clips. Woody as our rescuer, maybe our firefighter because a lot, what, what was happening a lot in stories that I've heard in the past is it was a house fire. Back in the day, cable clips were all plastic. The firefighters would either try and run in and save anyone in there or put the fire out. And a lot of these cables, which were stupidly hot, were dripping down from the cables. Firefighters were getting tangled up and caught in them and would end up dying because of it. And they couldn't get out. They were tangled in hot cables that was cutting through all their PPE and their skin. So obviously metal clips have been introduced and we're gonna see now the difference it makes. The reason I put Woody up there is because I full well know, I have every faith these metal ones are gonna work. You get the weight of each clamp on the cables to droop with. So once these go, this weight will end up pulling the cable down onto Woody himself. So it's just a, an interesting one. I'll probably pump 60 amps straight through it. See how we're getting on. This is 2.5 mil and uh, it's just to prove a point to regulations of why they're made and why they are there. and a lot of them, not all of them, some of them I can query, but a lot of them are there for safety reasons to not only save your lives, but to others trying to save your lives. So we can see off the camera, the cable itself is at 120 degrees. If you look at the right hand side of the screen for the camera, uh, on the, oh, you can see my face in it, hello. Uh, it will show you max temperature and lowest temperature on the bar on the right hand side, so it's also a good indicator. I'm getting some smoke off it now. So what I'll do, I'll stop talking. I'll put this, I'll put my GoPro down here, shine up at Woody and see how it's going, but we can always see the cable clip starting to go here. So after this is all settled down, what actually happened, which is nice to see, this is why we do, or I'm gonna start doing these type of experiments to show you guys. I had every faith that Woody was gonna get cut in half, every faith. But to look of it, that cable clip there, the, con the cable is actually, though the copper itself is sat on top of the metal nail in the cable clip. This side, it went straight over it and fell out, which you can see here, but it actually sat on it which then saved Woody's hat and head being cut in half. And then to top it all off, what actually happened, let me get a screwdriver around. What actually happened here, there was a spark and the cable actually split. So from the footage, you can see that this metal clip, this metal clip, and this metal clip held in lovely. That one, toasty, that one fell in half. That one fell in half, but it managed the copper Sorry, the metal nail actually managed to save the cable from, from dropping on Woody's head. So I was gonna end it there, but I'm gonna do the experiment. I'm gonna do it upside down. We'll put Woody on the surface and we'll do the, exactly the same thing to see what will actually happen in a suspended ceiling or stuff, or even in offices when you have suspended ceilings down, you have a lot of cables run across the top. If they're suspended and you most of the time, 
it's a very thin ceiling which can come down. Right, so what I've done now, I've done the same thing, PVC, PVC, PVC clip, metal, 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 link through. I put some legs on our stand, we're gonna flip it on its top, replicating that this would be on a ceiling, and put woody below. I'm not gonna protect the top. I want this, I want this weathered look, this worked look, so uh, put woody at the bottom. We'll try and get the right camera angle, which might be a little bit difficult, but we'll go there. We'll stick some ampage back through and see which cable drops first and see how we get on. You can see now from the phone imaging, imaging camera on the, the cable now is at 120 degrees. So at any point now, it's gonna start dropping. So for some reason my GoPro decided to record the bit of me not talking and then the bit of me putting the camera on the side. So what you saw, you'll have seen the footage from my other camera. The cable had dropped down, like I said, this is the reason we have these regulations to have metal fire clips, especially on ceilings and on walls, is if the cable drops, that doesn't happen. What happens is the cable will prevent help going in to help the people trapped inside, but equally stops the people inside to get out. So regulation changes for a reason, metal fire clips 100% and equally with the first test with the, the, the connectors, I just thought it was quite interesting to see what it can take. Next few videos will revolve around in having a broken uh, conductor, so a broken neutral on the ring on a 32 amp circuit. You can see how much that heats up and how much that could take on overload. Equally loose terminations in the back of sockets and switches. If I pump enough juice through that, you can see how it will affect it with the loose termination and heat up and cause fires. And equally having the wrong size protective device, i.e. a 32 amp breaker on a one mil cable, you can see the difference and the, the dangers that it can um, present in real world situations in domestic properties. So anyway, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.